In the earlier days of this channel, I had covered a video on chat alt. This is something that allows you to concurrently chat with ChatGPT, Bing Chat, Bard, and many other large language models. It's a good chatbot platform, but it seemed to be quite suspicious in terms of how they handled user data at the time. In this day and age, you want to make sure that your privacy is upheld, which is why we tend to look for different types of chatbot platforms that is fully encrypted and have a big emphasis on privacy. Now, chat all also like the ability to chat with most open source models, which is why we don't tend to see it around nowadays. This is where I would like to introduce to you Lobe Chat. Lobe Chat is an open source high performance chatbot framework that supports speech synthesis, you have multimodal capabilities, as well as an extendable plugin system. It's a platform for you to actually support a one click free deployment of your private chat GPT or large language model web application. This is a platform with more options, flexibility, and allows you to have the ability to extend it further on different types of needs. It's a great way for you to concurrently chat with any sort of large language model you want, access the multimodal features, extend it further as you mentioned, and have the function calling capability with the plugin system. So these are some of the things that you can do, and there's also many other features that we're going to be discussing as we go further into the video. So definitely stay tuned as we showcase what Lobe Chat is truly about, showcase how you can install it, and so much more throughout this video. So stay tuned and let's get straight to it. If you're searching for a job in the AI industry or any sort of industry, you must first give a strong impression before you can actually prove your skills. An efficient resume or a cover letter will get you that interview so you can actually prove and give that strong impression. If you've been having a hard time finding a job in any sort of field, this video sponsor will definitely help you out. This is where I would like to introduce Resumable. Resumable is the only resume writing company that gives you one-on-one -on -one access to expert resume writers in 80 plus industries. Their free resume review service will assign you to a recruitment specialist in your industry so that it can help you determine if your resume will pass any sort of applicant tracking system and it will also help you stand out to other recruiters. The resume writers have direct experience in software and coding industry recruitment systems where it can assist you in crafting a resume that will increase your chances of getting hired by 40% and boost your earnings by an average of 7%. If you're looking to rebrand yourself and find a job in the field, don't hesitate to check out Resumable Services, which I'll leave a link to in the description below. Definitely recommend this as this is a really valuable tool that can help you in various different aspects. Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the world of AI. In today's video, we're going to take a look at Lobe Chat. Now, this is an open source chatbot framework and it's something that supports many different types of features. We see this feature of speech synthesis, multimodal, as well as an extendable plugin system. This is something that allows you to concurrently chat with various different types of large language models and do various different things that you would want to do on a chatbot platform. Now, let's just take a look at some of the amazing features that are there with this actual chatbot platform. We know that they have a visual model support and this basically allows you to support OpenAI's GPT-4 vision model. This is the new GPT-4 vision model and it enables a visual recognition. So you can basically upload images and the chatbot will intel intelligently engage in conversations based off the image that you actually provided. This is through using GPT-4's vision encoders to process the images and it basically enhances for better communication by incorporating visuals as well as creating diverse and smarter chat scenarios this is something that provides you a good solution to work with every sort of multimodal feature you also have the TTS as well as the STT this is another feature that is provided within Lobe chat and this basically means that it supports a text-to-speech as well as a speech-to-text uh, technology and this is something that allows for text messages to be converted into clear voice outputs you can basically interact with the chatbot as if you're talking to a real person and you can choose from various different voices you can have different tones and basically TTS is ideally for people who want to have audio as a way to chat or communicate this is a great option for a lot of people and definitely recommend that you start playing around with this as it will be very, very interesting. 
you also have the function calling plugin system. This is where you're able to extend upon the core capabilities of Lobe Chat, where you can boost the functionality and the flexibility of ChatGPT. Now, with plugins, you know that ChatGPT can retrieve and process real time information. It's like fetching the latest news or accessing e commerce like data. This is where you can provide yourself with like better information using the plugin system that they have. It goes on further by supporting various different types of plugins that you can access. And you're also able to extend on further by implementing your own plugins. You can see this demo that we took a look at. It adds and customizes different things that you can do in terms of the extendable plugin feature. You can have function calls so you that you can incorporate them. And you can see over here that they basically state some of the plugins that they have submitted within this Lope chat framework. You can see that there's a tip to avoid developers in joining the ecosystem. We provide a comprehensive deployment resource in the plugin system section. So this basically means that you're able to check out the different types of plugins that they have, as well as there's a Vicky that showcases a lot more features for how you can actually implement your own plugins. Now, if we go back, we can see uh, some of these amazing plugins that they actually have. You have Ask Your PDF, which is a great feature that many of us actually tend to use. This is a great way for you to actually summarize the details of a PDF fairly easily. You have a clock time and many other features that are actually already incorporated within Lobe Chat. Now, these are some of the features that they have, but that doesn't restrict you from adding your own, which is something that I highly recommend that you do so, so that you can get the best use out of Lobe Chat. Now, we'll get to the next step of the video where I showcase how you can get started with using Lobe Chat by installing it locally or taking a look at the cloud hosting. If you would like to access our private Discord where you can access subscriptions to AI tools for free, get networking opportunities, collaboration, daily AI news, you have various different AI topics being discussed on the Discord, as well as a lot of support, definitely take a look at the Patreon link in the description below. Before we actually go further to the installation, I forgot to actually take a look at the agent marketplace. And this is where you're able to basically explore different types of frameworks, agents that are actually built within Lobe Chat. This will help you facilitate in various other types of roles as well as different types of tasks. And it will help you streamline the process to implement it within Lobe Chat. You can see that there's a stable diffusion prompt expert as well as SEO and many other different types of things. You can see that there's other types of recent submits that people have actually created. This is a way for you to start incorporating and start playing around with it within Lobe Chat itself. Now, this is something I wanted to cover because marketplaces within uh, different types of chatbot platforms is very beneficial for a lot of people because sometimes we do not know how to actually prompt and actually know how to get the best responses whereas when you can just use the community driven marketplace you can just use what works best for other people to help us get the best solution they generated now let's get to the next step where i actually now showcase the installation process now there's several methods to access low chat you have the self-hosted method local installation method as well as the cloud hosting method now i'm going to start off with the cloud hosting because that is the most easiest method you simply go on this link which is a versatile app and once i get to the home page you can simply just click start now and you can start playing around with this now i'm going to showcase the capabilities as well as a demo of this later or afterwards sorry but you can basically import your configurations where I talked about how you can implement different chat, private chat GPT or large language model web applications through their import configuration setting. Now, this is something that we'll take a look at later on, but this is the first method, which is accessing it through the cloud hosting. Now, the self hosting method is deploying it with Rissell, or you can also take a look at Zebra. Now, you will also need to prepare your open AI API key for this. And you're also able to do this with Docker image, which is a really easy, simple way you can do so. You simply just follow through the installation methods that they have over here. Now, if we go down a little bit more, we know we saw this, the plugin features, which you can take a look at afterwards, but the local deployment method is also very easy. You can open this up in GitHub code spaces by simply clicking on this, or you can just clone the local deployment and have it run with bun. You simply clone the repository, go into the load chat, install bun, and then run the actual bun uh, application. And this way you're going to be having this hosted on your local desktop. And that's basically as simple as that guys. Now we'll get to the next step of the video where we take a look at all the features as well as showcasing the actual UI of Lobe Chat. So with that thought, let's get to that next step and showcase it. 
So now let's just take a look at Lope Chat further by taking a look at the actual platform as well as the UI. Now uh, you'll notice that this actual platform has a very beautiful UI as it's super user friendly and it's easy to use for anyone. Now, what you'll need to do is first import your configurations. If you have any sort of settings or any sort of model that you want to play around with, you're able to upload your private GPT or any sort of LLM web application. This is through this button over here. You can import it and you're also able to export it by clicking on this button over here. Now, before we actually get to that step, we're also going to take a look at this. This is going to be your conversations tab. If you click on this, this is where you're going to be chatting, talking with your different types of agents that are over here, as well as different types of configuration agents that you have set. If you go click on the discovery page, you can see that there's different types of agents that you can play around with, as well as different plugins that they have already created. These are agents that are created by the community. So many of them might be very useful in cases that you want to work with code. You can definitely check out the coding ones or you can definitely check out the productivity agents that are there. There are different types of prompts that are created by different types of community members so that you can basically have the ease with different types of tasks. Now, if you click on the settings tab, you will see that there's all of these different types of links. This Vicky link is something that you could use if you're trying to extend this platform further by taking a look at the plugin tutorials, as well as the different types of large language models that you can incorporate within Lobe Chat. Now, incorporating plugins as well as, as, well as uh, different types of LLMs is only done through a local hosting method. So just keep that in mind. You can actually do that with the cloud hosting. You're also able to export your configurations so that you can actually play around with another computer, like whatever settings that you have created over here off to another hardware or so you can have it sent to another platform like Lobe Chat. Now let's click on the settings tab so we can get a better idea. You can set different types of theme settings. You can change it to dark, light. Uh, if you go down, you're also able to configure the system settings where you can create an account off the cloud hosting. You're able to set different types of open AI large language models. Like I stated, you can only access other open source models on the cloud or sorry, the local hosting, but they do plan on adding more large language models. You're also able to configure the text to speech settings where you can use open AI's GPT-4 multimodal features. Now, I'd be surprised if they incorporate Google's Gemini features, which is something that I would look forward to seeing with Lope Chat. Now, if you go down to the default agent, you can set different types of roles and create different agents for your own specific needs. This is something that can be tailored to whatever you're trying to accomplish. And that's basically it for the settings tab. Now let's go to the chat tab so we can get a better idea. You can simply just create a new agent. You can have it built off the configuration that you have imported or through different agents that we saw from the discovery page. Now, this is a way for you to share it. And in this case, you have 4,096 credits that you can use with the free version on the cloud hosting. If you want to use the actual local host, this is a way for you to get unlimited uh, credits or not unlimited credits, but you can use it for free as it's an open source model. But in this case, since it's cloud hosted, they're going to need to pay for the usage of different APIs, which is why they have it so that you can only use this much. But that's basically it for their UI. You can do various other things. You can also copy and paste the configura configurations that you have set. You can play around with different types of multimodal features as well as play with the different types of agents that are created by the community. If you would like to book a one-on-one -on -one with me where you can access my consulting services, where I can help you grow your business or basically give you a lot of different types of solutions with AI, definitely take a look at the calendar link in the description below. And that's basically a gist of Lope Chat. This is something that was getting a lot of buzz recently as it's an amazing platform where chatting with various different large language models concurrently as well as playing around with different types of multi-modal capabilities. This is something that is fairly easy to use and it has a lot of different types of features incorporated within its platform. So definitely take a look at this guys. I'll leave all the links in the description below so that you can access it fairly easily. If you want to join our private discord, definitely take a look at the link in the description below to our Patreon page link, which will get you access to it. Now, if you guys haven't followed World of AI on Twitter, I highly recommend that you do so, so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. Lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn notification bell, like this video, check out our previous videos because there is a lot of content that you will definitely benefit from. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. 
Have an amazing day. Spread positivity. And I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.